हेलो व्यूअर्स दिस इज निशा एच काम वेलकम यू टू द मैथमेटिक क्लास ऑफ एथ स्टैंडर्ड ऑन अंडरस्टैंडिंग वर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन टुडेस वीडियो वी विल सी क्वेश्चन नंबर 5 6 7 ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 4.1 लेट्स सी द फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 4.1 व्हाट इज अ रेगुलर पॉलीगन a polygon having sides of equal length and angle of equal measure that is it should be a polygon where the length of all the sides are same and measure of all the angles are same which is termed as equilateral and equiangular now they have also asked us to name regular polygons of three sides three sided polygon is called as a triangle isn't it it is called as a triangle now if all the three sides are same such angle is called as such triangle is called as equilateral triangle so a three sided regular polygon is equilateral triangle let's come to this four sides four sided polygon is called as a quadrilateral and regular means all the sides and the angle should be same if all the four sides are same in the quadrilateral it is called as a square and remember in square all the angles are also 90 degree so it is equi lateral and equi angular that is sides of equal length and angles of equal measure so the four sided regular polygon is called as square next you have six sided six sided polygon is called as the 1 2 3 4 five 6 here also all six sides will be same if they are same it is called a regular hexagon Let's see question number six in this A. The question says you have to find the measure of x. If you look at this figure, it is a quadrilateral because it has four sides. It has four sides. That is one, two, three, and four. Now the sum of angles of the quadrilateral we know which is equal to three sixty. We have seen it in our last. questions that the total that is if you add up all the interior angles it has to sum to 360 so what i know which angles do i know i know 50 which is this angle plus 130 that is this angle plus 120 the third angle fourth angle is unknown so it is represented as x so when i add all these four i have to get a total of 300 60 now we will go for a algebraic equation how to solve the algebraic equ equation 130 plus 120 will give you 250 250 plus 50 will give you 300 so 300 plus x is equal to 360 solving the linear equation what we did we had to take this to the other side positive sign will change to negative sign so x will be equal to 360 minus 300 so value of x is 60 nothing but 60 degree question number b again if you observe it is a quadrilateral because it has four sides 1 2 3 4 we are supposed to find x but here only two angles are given in the first question three angles and one was x but only two are given one is unknown represented by x so what about this this represents a right angle 90 degree if this is 90 degree this is a linear path so this also should be 90 degree so again it is four sides so quadrilateral sum of all the angles will be equal to in a quadrilateral is 
60 degrees. So let's add up all the four angles. That is x plus 70 plus 60 plus 90 will give you 360. Now if you add it is 90 plus 60 will give you 150. 150 plus 70 will give you 220. So x plus 220 is equal to 360. Transpose this 220 to the other side. What remains here is x. x is equal to 360 minus 220. So value of x will be 0 minus 0 is 0, 6 minus 2 will give you 4, 3 minus 2 will give you 1. So it is 140 degree. Question number C. Now this is a polygon having 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So it is a pentagon. It is a pentagon. We should know what is the total sum of all the angles of the pentagon. It is 540 degrees. How to calculate the interior angle sum? I have explained it in my video, uh, previous video. You can watch it. So pentagon total of interior angle is 540 degrees. So I should know 5 angles now out of which Two are specified as X. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Only one angle is given that is 30 degrees. This is X, this is X. Which says that both are same measure. Whatever is here angle, same angle measurement will be here. How do I find out this angle and this angle? If there is a line... One straight line is 180, right? One full straight line angle is 180. Now, out of that, if this is 70, how much will this be? It will be 180 minus 70, which is equal to 110 degree. Such angles are called as linear pairs. Linear pair means the total of two should be 180. The two angles should be on the straight line. So these two are linear pair. If this is 70, this will be 180 minus 70. Let me call it as angle 1. Let me call this as angle 2. So angle 1 will be angle 1 will be 180 minus 70, which is equal to 110 degree. Now you know how to find out angle 2. How do we find out angle 2? Again, these two are linear pair because they come on the same line. So, outside angle is 60 degree. So, inside angle will be 180 minus 60 degree which is equal to 120 degree. So, now you have 30x, 120, 110 and this again x. The total of all these 5 angles should be equal to 540. So, let's write. 30 plus x plus this angle 2 was 120 plus angle 1 was 110 plus x again should be equal to 540. So 120 plus 30 will give you 150. 150 plus 110 that will give you 260. Am I right? 100, 200, 250, 260. So x plus 260 plus x one more is here is equal to 540. Now there are two x. So x plus x will give you 2x. X plus x is 2x. 2x is equal to this 260 I will shift it onto the right hand side. So 540 minus 260. So x value will be 540 minus 260 will give you 280. This 2 when I shift it on the other side from multiplication it changes to division. So 2 1s are 
two ones are two, two fours are eight and a zero. So value of x will be 140 degree. So if one is 140, this should also be 140. Next we will see question number seven in that a find x plus y plus z. The diagram given is a triangle and x, y and z are the exterior angles of the triangle. Interior angle is 30 and 90. Third one interior angle is not given. What we have to find is sum of all the exterior angles. Now first let me find what is this interior angle. So sum of angle, sum of angles in triangle. Do you remember how much is it? 180 degree. For a quadrilateral it is 360, for a triangle it is 180, for pentagon it is 540 and we have formula to calculate it for other polygons as well. Sum of angle is 180 for a triangle. So I know two angles now 30 plus 90 plus let me call this as 1 here uh, or shall I give some other name let me call it as uh, XYZ is already there. Let me call it as A. Plus A is equal to 180. So 90 plus 30 will give you 120 plus A is 180. A will be 180 minus 120 which is equal to 60 degrees. So the third, the third angle inside the triangle I got it as 60 degrees. Now we shall find x, y and z which are the exterior angles. If you remember in my previous uh, question when I explained I told you about the linear pairs. So these are linear pair, pair because they come on the same line. Mm -hmm. X and this 90 are also linear pair because they come on this same line. This straight line these two are the linear pair. What are linear pair? The sum of two angles should be 180 degree and they should lie on the same line. So now this is 60 means this will be 180 minus 60. If this is 90, this is 180 minus 90. So let's find out x which is equal to 180 minus 90 degree which is equal to 90. So x value I got it as 90 degree. What about y? y will be 180 minus 60. Remember these are linear pairs. So 180 minus 60 will give you 120. Now you have angle Z which is equal to 180 minus 30 which is equal to 150. So now you have X, Y and Z as 90, 120 and 150. Question is to find X plus Y plus Z. So it is 90 plus 120 plus 150 150 150 plus 120 will give you 100 200 270 270 plus 90 will give you 360 if you remember our previous video the sum of the exterior angle for any polygon whether it is triangle or a quadrilateral or pentagon. Any polygon, sum of the exterior angle is always 360 degrees. That is the reason why x plus y plus z we got it as 360. The last question of this exercise, question number 7, B. Find x plus y plus z plus w. The previous question was triangle. So x plus y plus z exterior angle sum we got 360. But we know that whatever be the number of sides in a polygon, the sum of the exterior angle, we should get 360. Let's see here also whether we will get it as 360. We will try to prove it step by step. Now, this is a four sided polygon which is called as a quadrilateral. So, sum of angles in a quadrilateral. quadrilateral is equal to 360. This I am talking about the interior angles. 
interior angle of the triangle is 180, interior angle of the quadrilateral is 360 degree. They have given us three angles that is 60 plus 80 plus 120. This is unknown. Let me call this as A plus A is equal to 360 degrees. Now, 120 plus 80 will give you 200, 200 plus 60 will give you 260 plus A is equal to 360. So value of A will be 360 minus 260 which is equal to 100 degree. So I got the fourth interior angle of a quadrilateral. This is 100. Again, Using the linear pair, I can find out the value of x, y, z and w. First, let me find out x. What will be the value of x? It is 180 minus 120 which is equal to 60 degree. Right? Next, we will find out y. y is 180 minus 80 degree. That is linear pair, straight line is 180, if this is 80, this has to be 180 minus 80 which is equal to 100 degree, z will be 180 minus 60 that will give you 120 degree and w will be, this is 100, so 180 minus 100 which has to be equal to 80 degree. The question is to find x plus y plus z plus w. Before adding only, I very well know that it has to come to 360 degree. Let's try anyway. x plus y plus z plus w which is equal to 60 plus 100 plus 120 plus 80. 120 plus 80 is? 200. 200 plus 100 is 300. 300 plus 60 will give you 360 degree. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.